Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, as I come before you, Lord God, I magnify, I praise, and I adore thee, O oh God. I declare once again, Lord God, let your kingdom come, let your will be done, which, O oh God, never the Father, on earth as it is in heaven. O oh Lord God, I declare, O oh God, never the Father, in agreement with your word that you still are King of kings, you still are Lord of lords, you still are Lord God that created the heavens and the earth and of your kingdom there is no end heaven of fathers i come before you i pray oh god never the father that the power oh god never the father of the kingdom of heaven oh god never the father would come alive right now in me and through me in the mighty name of jesus christ heaven of father i ask you through the power that's in the name of your son jesus christ that you would dispatch warring angels of god are angels right now oh god never the father at this time at this moment oh god to burst through the air and in the atmosphere to assist oh god never the father and strengthen and uphold your child and the words and this prayer in the mighty name of jesus christ heaven of father creator of heaven and earth i thank i praise i glorify and i worship you lord god i call upon you the lord god almighty that liveth and reign it forever and ever heaven of father in the mighty name of jesus christ as i walk oh god never the father in jesus name, i declare thy kingdom come right now in the mighty name of jesus christ Heavenly Father, I declare right now that you are the God that still rule in the kingdoms of men, that you are the God that still watch over the nations, Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord God of hosts, I present before you this day the islands of the Bahamas. I present before you the nation, O oh God, of this land, O oh Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, called the islands of the Bahamas, Father, and the people, O oh God, Heavenly Father, that live here, Father, in the name of Jesus. Christ. Lord God, I stand and I walk and I declare and I decree, oh God, that you are our Lord and our God, having a Father in the name of Jesus Christ. I stand in intercession still on the islands of the Bahamas because we still put our faith and our trust in thee, having a Father, creator of heaven and earth. Lord God, in Jesus' name, I pray by your power, by your might, Father, I superimpose your God, never a Father, your warring angels. May they exert in strength, oh God, never a Father. May they marshal right now and protect oh god in jesus name and move oh lord god through the islands of the bahamas as a protection father in the name of jesus christ especially over the people of god i pray this day in the mighty name of jesus christ lord god i praise i worship and i adore you this day having a father in the name of jesus christ i still invoke your power and your presence oh god in this land and in this nation i still invoke your mercy and your grace in the name of jesus christ and in invoke your power this day lord god in the mighty name of jesus christ heaven and father i so speak a blessing oh god heaven a father among oh god upon the islands of the bahamas yes lord god of hosts despite what has happened despite what is going on we still put our faith and our trust in you oh lord god we still call you our lord our god our savior and our master heaven a father in the mighty name of jesus christ i pray lord god that you still would move through this land and through this nation to bless us oh god for you say that your thoughts towards us are for good and not for evil to give us an expected end to give us good success this day father in the mighty name of jesus christ lord god this day i cover homes oh god i cover families in the blood of jesus christ i oh god speak oh god of the father into this land and into this nation that life and light will spring forth this day in the name of jesus christ i pray lord god that you will send oh god revival through our land father in the name of jesus christ through our islands oh god in the mighty name of jesus christ that the power of god will break forth i pray oh god in jesus name heaven our father i come against every stronghold principalities and powers i come against every work of darkness i command light of god to spring up in every dark area in this land this day in the mighty name of your son jesus christ i pray holy father creator of heaven and earth i pray that you so show yourself to be lord so show yourself to be god that liveth and weaned forever and ever heaven and father i pray right now in the name of jesus christ i superimpose the will of the almighty god and the power of the almighty god and the power of your spirit 
still to move through this land and through this nation. Father, I pray right now in the name of Jesus Christ, I cover, oh God, all the households of the saints of God. I cover their households in the blood of Jesus, their families, oh God, their finances. I cover in the blood of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, you are God that's able to restore, Lord God. You are God that's able to provide. I pray this day in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, especially for those that serve you and seek unto you, that you will be our provider, that you will be and show yourself to be our God, that we will not lack as David said, the Lord is my shepherd, I will not want or lack anything, Father, in the name of Jesus. Christ for your glory and for your honor Lord God and I thank you heaven of father in Jesus name let your name be praised Lord God Almighty amen and amen people of God are just like to say you know God is a God of promise even if you look in the sky right now unexpectedly there is a rainbow and yes when God sends a rainbow it's always a reminder of his promise I just like to say people of God to say every God has promised you everything that he's promised to do in your life. God is about to bring it to pass. Hold faith, be strong. God is never slack concerning his promises. From the day he told Noah and way back then that he will not overflood the earth and destroy all mankind, that is remain. So everything God has said concerning your life, that will remain because once God Almighty has spoken it, he will bring it to pass. Stand strong in your belief, people of God. It doesn't matter what it looks like. It doesn't matter what it sounds sound like. Only go by the words of the Almighty God has spoken to you. Stand upon his promises. God is a faithful God. People of God, this day, be strengthened, be encouraged. Even those that have lost things and material things throughout this hugging, God will restore to you sevenfold. You only have to trust him. You only have to look unto him. He is your God. He is your provider. He is your father. Be blessed this day, people of God. Amen and amen.